guys, it's Ann Castro, and I know that this is quite a different setup. Um, yeah, and you guys haven't seen me in a while. I know that I've been posting a YouTube, or I've been, I used to post a lot of YouTube videos, um, basically me singing some covers, and I still love to sing. I'm not going to say that those videos are completely gone, but maybe I'll do them every blue moon depending on what you guys think, but at the end of the day, I kind of wanted to show you guys more of what I can do. The past couple years, I have focused more on my artwork. I am a freelance artist. Um, I picked that up more when I was in college, you know, to get some side money and stuff, but really, um, I've developed myself a lot more in that sense, so that's why I thought I would bring this to YouTube, honestly, and bring more of my life to YouTube. When summer comes around, a lot of the times I tend to go on YouTube and look up like thrift hauls, thrift with me videos, and home decor DIYs, summer DIYs, all that type of stuff because what better time than summer? The weather is just so beautiful that you just can't help but be inspired and create a lot of projects and stuff. So today I gathered around some of the things that I thrifted within the past week or two and actually I thrifted this shirt back in high school so I've like I've had this shirt for like seven plus years I would say I just love to throw it on and it just makes me feel a little bit special uh, that's the thing about thrifting too is you know that when you pick up a piece that no one out there really has the same piece as you, depending on what you got, you know? I went to Goodwill. Uh, there's a place here in Bloomington called Vintage Vogue, which is also, well, also, also through Goodwill. And I went to a consignment store, a new consignment store called Select here in Bloomington, which they feature more like sports stuff. It's more of like a men's consignment, but I still like going there because they have like cool patches. One thing I like to get while I'm out at Goodwill is plaid shirts because honestly, sometimes if you go to Urban Outfitters and try and get a plaid shirt, they be taxing like $40 for a plaid shirt. Why not go to Goodwill and buy one for like five bucks, you know, and they have all different types of colors and stuff, wash it, bleach it, do whatever the heck you want with it, but that's the great thing. You can find some staples there for dirt cheap. This one I got, and this was $4.49, and this was in the women's section, so I usually like getting plaid shirts in the men's section because I like them looser. I really don't like the women's fit, but this was an exception just because I like the colorway, to be honest. Um, that's what it looks like, you know. It's really cool. Um, I grabbed another flannel. Where'd you go? How did I lose flannel? Oh, no, here it is. Okay. So I grabbed another flannel, and this is more of like an olive green color with some beige skinny lines throughout it, and this was in the men's section. Oh, well, this was in the men's section, but today, when I went to Goodwill, their green tags were 50, were 99 cents. So I got this puppy for 99 cents. And yeah, honestly, yesterday I went to Goodwill and just because I was bored and when I went, I forgot it was the first Saturday of the month, but I mean, that was a good thing too. I only picked up a couple pieces, so I wasn't really trying to wait in the line, but I had to anyways, who cares? I got things for dirt cheap. So I got those two flannels. Um, other than that, I always pick up some staple high-waisted jeans, Levi's. If I could find some Levi jeans, then that would be great. Um, I know I got a lot of pairs because I always like DIYing these jeans. So I got this pair. This was $6.99. Um, we actually got it for half off because it was in the boys section. Because I think the kids section was on sale that day. And yeah, this is a size 14. I wear size 0 to size 2 in pants. And I found that honestly nowadays... Finding high-waisted pants can kind of be hard, at least here in Indiana, so I go towards the boy section, and you just go all the way to, like, the 16 and 18 sizes. If you're, like, really petite like me, you could probably get away with this. I got these, some vintage Levi Strauss pants. I got those. Um, I believe I got another pair. Yeah, here's a darker wash. Um, this is... This was $6.99 as well. So this one, this one's actually women's. It's 29 by 29. I guess that's men's. Whatever, y'all get the gist. I tried it on and it fit. So <laughs> that's the important part. But these are 
a darker wash of Levi jeans. So I'm so stoked about those. So some more vintage Levi. I am super excited about this one. When I was selling some clothes to Play-Dohs, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my clothes before I moved to Texas. And I'm doing terrible because I'm getting rid of stuff, but then I'm thrifting stuff. But hey, I guess like, I don't know. I got this jacket for only 18 bucks. And it's a Levi's Strauss jean jacket. And But like, look at this. It's so different. Like, look at the pockets. The pockets have like more of this like point over here. And it does the same thing on the back. And I've just never really seen that on a jean jacket. And I thought it was so cool. So usually I thrift things for me to make and hopefully sell. But this one, whenever I find a good Levi jacket... I gotta keep that puppy, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll get a couple wears out of it and then I'll sell it, but I definitely wanna figure out if I should like cover this with patches or if I should paint it because this is gonna be my new little project, my precious. So the next thing I got was this like race team shirt. But my friend Jess actually found this for me when we went to Vintage Vogue, which is that like sister store of Goodwill. Or I don't know, I guess Goodwill has like a couple of other thrift stores through them. I found this shirt and I just like really liked the patches and stuff and it was really cool. You know, that like whole motorsport vibe was kind of in. So I wanted to take this, maybe crop it. It's just like a big shirt sure, you know like clearly it's for a man but like I was thinking I could either like crop it add some like jacket sleeves to it make it something really cool and different but still keep like the patches I'm like horny and maybe I was just hungry I just really liked the Lays and the Pepsi pap uh, patches I just really like embroidered stuff I think it just makes things a lot cooler and more high quality so when I go thrifting, I really like to go through the jacket section and now especially that I'm trying to kind of redo my wardrobe, I think it would be cool to get more like blazer jackets, jackets that I could even wear, even if I'm wearing like a t-shirt and some high-waisted jeans, throwing on like a nice jacket over it can make it look a little bit more mature, which I'm trying. I'm gonna try whatever but I found this and apparently it came in a two-piece set and it was only 99 cents so I got two pieces for 99 cents I thought this was cute and it's like just this blazer but it has this pattern on it and I love the tan and the like is it dark brown or black it's just black but I just thought this was really cute it still has its shoulder pads in it which I'll probably take out but I thought this would be super cute over a graphic tee tucked into some high-waisted pants like it would look really kind of like I would say New Yorker vibes I don't know but that came with this skirt over here so hey I mean maybe I will make it cute I don't know if I'll ever wear the skirt and it together because I just feel like this is actually very long to wear with the skirt, so it would just hide me. I'm like already a stick and I just don't want to be like, while I was looking for the jackets as well, I like looking for cool pattern things. Like, I think that's what I want to collect more now is like some cool jackets to throw on outfits because I tend to get cold really easily anyways. So having like a cool jacket with everything or just to spice up a very casual outfit like I said with like the tucked in shirt and the high waisted pants, that would be really cool. So I found this, all the patterns, there's like paisley going on, there's patches of this kind of like tribalish looking print. Um, like there's peaks of orange and there's flowers, there's this stuff. Like, there's so much going on, but I love it. I don't know if you guys can see what vibe I got, but I just think it's so dope. I'm actually putting together a collection of clothes, like, that are floral and very colorful and pastel colors, the pinks and purples. For this collection, like, I've made things from hand, like, from scratch, or I've either, like, thrifted something and put them together, just crafting things together to make a collection and to show you guys that you can have, like, one-of-a-kind pieces and make them your own. 
Um, so I picked up these pieces to kind of style with the outfits that I have. One thing that is really easy to find when you go to Goodwill is tweed. Some freaking tweed. Like, I found so many tweed jackets. Some of them were hit or miss. Some of them definitely look like they were so old. But other ones, the I think the ones that I picked up kind of have this, like, Chanel vibe. And it's so cool. So this was $6.99, but I got it for half off since it was the first Saturday of the month. So about a little bit more than $3. And it's like this. And it has, like, little, like, fringe peplum going on at the bottom layering. Um... Yeah, there's like pinks, oranges, tan, purple, blues going on. Like it's literally perfect for like the color theme that I um, am trying to achieve. Um, some more pink tweed. I got this um, skirt and this is clearly too big for me. But I just liked the pink tweed, the material in general. So I could probably try and take it in. But it's this long, just like tweed pencil skirt simple as that and it's pink it just has a ton of different shades of pink it has a zipper in the back so for me to take it in I'd probably just put it on pin around the edges um, of where it needs to be cinched in a little bit more and then just sew a line down the sides and there you go it fits me so that's the cool thing is I love looking even in larger sizes because if you find like larger pants or larger um, you know skirts you can just slim it down and maybe you know it might be too long who knows but most cases you can just slim it down and it'll work look at it it's so fun like this is just so fun and girly I absolutely love it I got another tweed blazer today so I got all three of those items together but I got this today and this one I'm more excited about the this one than the other one it just kind of reminds me of like uh, Carrie, Carrie Diaries, if you guys watch that. I've only watched it a couple of episodes, but it also just gives me her vibes. But this was only 99 cents today since it was in women's. And it's another tweed jacket, but look how cute that is. Like, oh my gosh. Ugh. The black details and the trim around, 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 around the um, collar and the pockets, well these aren't actually real pockets, I just realized that as I was about to describe it to you guys, but. And the last clothing item that I got today from Goodwill was this floral row. So this is gonna go, this might be one of the statement pieces for one of the outfits that I'm gonna put together, but look at this. Look at it. It's just literally so long. It's a floral robe. It has a black collar around the edges. This was in the pajama like slash lingerie section, but at the end of the day, you could literally wear this as a blazer. I might take off the little ties right here, but put this over some t-shirt, a t-shirt and some high-waisted jeans, and that would be so cute and would be just like a, a showstopper. And it has pockets. Psh functionality with this one so that's another win this one was I don't know if I got this one yeah I didn't get this one for 99 cents today I got this for $1.99 though so when I went to vintage Vogue this automatically stuck out to me I'm not even a huge purse person purses can get really expensive especially name brand ones so I guess I, I'm at the point where I just kind of want cute ones but on the daily I usually just walk around with my wallet this was only $14 and it looks like this. It's one of those bags that each of these beads right here is made out of paper that was rolled up. You know, someone put some hard work into this, especially knowing like uh, the process that went through each of these beads. I don't really even know if I am such a fan of this. I am. You know what? I really do like it. I think I like it as is, but I was also thinking of ditching these straps and somehow just making it somewhat of like a a clutch bag you just hold it like this so when you guys first see this bag don't judge me I don't like it as is I think it has potential I've just been seeing that there's a lot of like wicker style basket purses um, on trend right now and I just can't pick myself up to just like go buy one like brand new just because I feel like that you can thrift a lot of those things and then maybe make it your own and I'm gonna try so um, and it looks like this. I just don't like the silver detailing. Oh, and that's only the back. Yeah, I don't really like the silver detailing to it. Hopefully I can change it. 
but I'm trying to take all that stuff off like period like at this point like I want to just get like a seam ripper and go through the seams that go along the sides and take these things completely off and hopefully put like a buckle over it so that it just folds over and you can have it as a cute bag it's nice and neutral not natural slash galaxy looking like I really don't like rocker style I really don't know what's going on with this bag who made this y'all could have done better yeah there's no name so there's that but whatever I thought it would be a cute DIY project so we can see if I'm gonna do anything with this along with that bag and hopefully what I can use if I could take those off I found this real suede like belt for only 99 cents and I just thought the buckle was Cool. I could end up taking it off, painting it rose gold, whatever. So the last thing that I got from Vintage Vogue was this cute pot. This cute little copper pot. I'm so excited about it. Um, I saw it and I like to drink a lot of tea. Now I don't think I'm going to use this for drinking tea because that seems just kind of sketchy to me. I just want it more so for display. I definitely want to clean it up. I might end up painting the wood pieces. I'm thinking either painting them white or I don't know. Who knows? We'll see what we're going to do with that. But I think it could even be cute to like hold some plants like inside this part. So there's that. And last but not least, I wanted to show you guys the patches that I picked up from Select. Um, Select is a consignment store that just opened up here in Bloomington. Um, I met the owner, Nick. He's really cool. And honestly, going into Joann's and Michael's and uh, Hobby Lobby looking at their patches, they're not all that fun. They're just like, they can either be like really kitty, really like just too pop arty for me sometimes. And sometimes I just want like the vintage looking patch like a normal patch I have a varsity letter from high school but I feel a little bit more comfortable putting this one in there because I'm not sure if I would ever want to like well I guess I could use it well, I got two C patches now I also got this I thought this was cool Dodge Van Clan but I just really liked the artwork in it I also got this this like Steelers Hummet one um my mom told me when I was little that one of my dad's favorite American football teams was the Steelers. So that justifies this. All these pieces have potential and you guys have the potential to find some really cool things if you go thrifting. I've been having so much fun thrifting lately. I didn't get to do it all too much throughout college because, you know, when you're in college you have to X out some things to make more time for homework and more important things, I guess. But now that I found all these items, I am super happy and super excited to wear them, style them, and I can't wait to show you what I do with some of them. So stick around. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys could please give me a little rate, comment, subscribe. Please tell me what you think and how I did. I tried my ultimate best. I have been so intimidated with trying to start up YouTube again because, shoot, the way people do their videos now is so crazy and I definitely have a lot of learning to do but you know you can't really get working on something until you start 